What does that mean? Have you thought about it? It means, oh Allah, you love to forgive. You love to forgive. Why would Allah love to forgive? He knows he has created his slaves who will sin and err. He loves from amongst us those who return to him and repent to him. Those are the ones whom Allah loves. If you think you are never going to sin, listen to this. Kullu bani Adam khatta wa khayrul khatta'een at-tawwabun. All human beings, all the children of Adam, they commit sin, they are prone to error. But the best from among those who often sin, because the term khatta refers to someone who did it more than once. At-tawwabun, those who repent more than once, again, tawwabun, of repenting. How many times do you seek the forgiveness of Allah? Believe in the mercy of Allah. You are growing a bit older, you might be terminally ill, you might be young. Learn to love Allah and feel the love of Allah back. Allah loves you. When He takes you away, be convinced that you are going to a good place. Why? Are you not a mu'min? Did you not say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, Sallallahu That statement alone heals. It will heal the ummah. The bond, don't we say the bond of La ilaha illallah is stronger than the bond of blood? You hear the hadith, the hadith of Bitaqa. It's called the hadith of the card. It re, it's reported that on the day of Qiyamah, a slave will come forth with sins. 99 files filled with sins. Each one from the east to the west. And as Allah Almighty says, put his deeds on the scale, they are being put on the scale. People used to ask, how will they weigh the deeds? Isn't it? How will they weigh the I don't know how they will weigh the deeds. I don't know how they will write the deeds, but I know they write it and I know they will wait and I know there's going to be a scale of justice because the Quran says it, the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu says it, I believe in it. And so, today when you video something or when you have an audio and you save, it takes up part of your memory. How much? There's a weight. Megabytes. Agreed? Gigabytes. Sometimes too big. Terabytes. And so on. You can weigh it. If you can weigh my speech in megabytes, MP3, wave, etc. It's so simple for Allah to do whatever He wants to weigh my whole life out. So we don't ever deny the scales of justice. One of the beautiful things about the scale is it depicts the mercy of Allah. How? Allah says, I'm not looking for someone who only got one side of the scale, good only. No. Allah says, فَمَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ وَمَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُ Whoever's good deeds are more than the bad, they have won. Allah didn't say whoever does not have bad deeds. The mercy of Allah is He's going to weigh your deeds. How many good, how many bad? Okay, say for example, we're weighing in kilos. I got five kilos of bad and 10 kilos of good. What happened to me? I won. I won. And that's why be careful the weight of your deeds. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some islamic products thank you assalamu alaikum islamic motivation dinjon and dinjon bangla is our official channel visit our description box and pin command to buy some islamic products thank you assalamu alaikum islamic motivation dinjon and dinjon bangla is our official channel visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you.